Um, and now let's talk about origami. All right, guys. So origami is just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And it's funny, I love doing the two pack of the big guys. We call them the big guys. Because this is what started it all. In fact, this pewter that I have in my little hand that I'm rolling around is literally the first thing we ever sold from origami on the air. And I bought it. We sold it as a two pack, um, maybe I think we're like, like 12 years ago, so it's crazy like that. And we have these back tonight. It is the best value, these are the hardiest, they hold the most, and you get both of these with only one shipping. That's a really big deal, because they collapse down, but that box is still big. So to get these home for $10 shipping is remarkable. Now we've got this at a special feature price, and we've only got a couple colors left. This is called the pewter that I have that I'm holding here. Back behind me is gonna be the platinum right here, and I only have a little over 100, please remember, Remember, you're getting two of each of the colors I'm describing. So that's the platinum. Now, the white's almost got to be gone because we featured this yesterday and I didn't have hardly any white left. How many white do we have, uh, Rocky? It is sold out. Aha! <laughs> Oh, oh, well, maybe not. Okay, white sold out, ignore that. Uh, I knew it was gonna be gone because it was basically sold out yesterday, so sorry about that. Here we go. Now, if you want this one, this is our bronze. Think of it as a really deep, almost espresso brown color. And then finally the black. Black's always the second best seller after the white. So we're gonna go back to Lou. I think he's all ready to go and he's gonna show you really what is so amazing about origami. Lou, I love it when we do this set because it reminds me of the set I bought the first time we ever sold it here at HSN. Yeah, well, this is the uh, the original one. I mean, this is the one that started the whole trend with origami. I'm going to apologize because I'm going to be demonstrating with white. <laughs> no, we don't have any, but it's all I got right here. So that we're going to go with that. But the reason we call it origami, folks, if you've never ever seen it before, is because it's named after the ancient Japanese art of paper folding. Because you can take this rack, which has 12 linear feet of storage, and just like this, close it up and it becomes four inches wide. Now, this is how it's going to be when you get it home. It's gonna be flat packed in a box, or two of them, I should say, flat packed in a box, as Suzanne said. Um, the hardest thing you're gonna do is get it out of the box, honestly. Once you do, you pull the sides, it pops open. I'm gonna spin this around so you can see the back right here. And if you look right there, that's the origami toggle. That's what we call it. Let me pull that back in the shot. There we go. Watch this. All I'm gonna do is push that down, and that's patented, that design. It's, right now, it's literally locked at the bottom of this that quickly. Then you just flip the top over like this, and you are done. That was what we like to call, quote unquote, assembly. It's very, very quick, it's easy. No tools required, I didn't read any instructions. Really simple to do. Now the only thing you gotta decide is wheels versus not wheels. And I know last night you and I talked about this, Suzanne, and you're a wheels person, which, which I admire, because I'm a wheels person too. Um, you put the wheels on it, it raises it three inches off the ground. So we recommend that you limit it to 75 pounds per shelf. So with the wheels on, 300 pound weight capacity, but that's 300 pounds you can push around. Without the wheels, you can go up to the maximum weight capacity of 250 pounds per shelf. That's a total of 1,000 pounds on each one of your racks. So it's a total of 2,000 pounds storage, which Suzanne is what? Is one ton. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got that right again. It's amazing. It you is. Did. And I got to tell you, the thing we talked about even last night, Lou, was how many ways you'll use this. Here's what happens. You buy oh, origami yeah. with one thing in mind. You go all those boxes or those paint cans in the garage. You buy it for that. And then what's the coolest thing is as your lifestyle changes or your housing situation changes, you'll keep your origami. It moves with you. I'll give you a great example. My husband and I lived in about 2,000 square feet. We now live in mm -hmm. under 700 square feet. We really downsized. Guess what? All of my origami pieces moved. Now, they went from my home where I had kind of a semi-linen closet because I didn't really have a washer and dryer area. And they also held my crafting supplies near my crafting area. Then when we moved and downsized, these went right to our storage uh, our storage unit because I wanted to get a small storage unit and I wanted to be able to use vertical space instead of just horizontal. How many of you have box after box after box piled on top of each other or t a tub after tub after tub? No one gets to that bottom tub because there's 10 tubs on top of it and it's too darn heavy to get to whatever's in that bottom tub. Now, easily, you can store all of that stuff, all of that all the sports equipment and the gardening supplies and all the stuff you have in the closet or in your garage or in the attic or the basement, and you literally can get to it. And I think that's, Lou, why so many people give it such high reviews is they realize the versatility is incredible and the quality is there as well. 
Well, yeah, and that's the thing. Versatility wise, you know, these are our powder coated steel and you can hear that when I hit it with my ring that that is real steel, but the powder coating does a couple of things for you. It makes it chip resistant. It makes it scratch resistant. But more importantly, it makes it corrosion resistant. So you can use these indoors, you can use these outdoors. You don't have to worry about humidity. You don't have to fear the weather, snow, none of that. It's not gonna hurt these because they are that powder coated steel. So that's one of the things that makes it so versatile. Now, I think the other thing though, is the way you can use them. If I just push this one out of the way for a second, for instance, like, take a look at this one over here. For the garage, I think this is kind of a no-brainer, but you know, I always tell people, I kid about it, but it's kind of true, the garage is for your car, okay? You shouldn't be using it as a storage place. So when you look at this, look at the way all of this stuff is on here. We took it off the floor. There's even cinder blocks on the bottom. Um, there's a full-size tire. If you love north someplace where you've got to actually change your tires every season, that's a great place to keep them. And get that stuff up, because think about this. Each origami rack has 12 linear feet of storage. So what that's gonna do for you is instead of having stuff laying out 12 feet across your floor, which might be the length of your whole garage, we're taking advantage of the vertical space in there. Now, the versatility though, there's the garage. How about the office? Because how many of us, raise your hands, how many people are working from home right now, okay? If you are one of those people, Take a look at how great this setup is, Suzanne. Look at how much is on there, full size all in one, envelopes, reams of paper. We're not even getting anywhere close to the weight capacity on this. I mean, it's absolutely crazy, but that's what makes these so versatile. It could be storage one day, it could be decor the next day, it can be an entertainment center, you know, walk-in closet, walk-in pantry, adding shelving to those, whatever you want. But too, because as I said, as your lifestyle changes, it grows with you. So for example, right. you might have a kid who's in college or maybe their first apartment and they've just got to organize all their books or, you know, whatever that they have in their apartment space. And then as they leave the apartment, they finally, you know, get their first home. Guess what? These will go with you and they are meant to last. And it's great because they're easy to roll. The wheels just flow. You can get behind yeah. to clean them. And the uses are endless. I, I, I know we've talked to, remember that one gal who used hers for her birds. Oh yeah, she put all her bird cages on them, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's funny when you hear what people do with them because, you know, it's the kind of thing where because these are open shelves, air flows through them, water flows through them, so if you wanted to put plants on them, but even like with the birds on there, you wouldn't put them in an enclosed shelving system. But with origami, you don't have to worry about that. Now, speaking of the wheels, the wheels on these are locking as well. Two of them are locking wheels, okay? So you're gonna have the ability to lock these in place if you get them someplace where you want, if you decide to use the wheels. If you don't, then remember, you can go up to that 1,000 pound weight capacity on each one of these. But I wanna show everybody one more time, or many times, how easy it is to open and close these because that's the thing about these. Look how easy it is to do this. So. This is why we say origami is a storage solution and not a storage problem. Meaning, when you're not using it, you stow it away. It looks just like this. If you have to move, you take it with you. You don't leave it behind. If the kids are coming back from the dorms, uh, you know what? It comes in the back of the car. You don't rent a trailer. Uh, you know, there's just so many reasons why I think origami is great. The other thing, Suzanne, is each shelf is three feet across. I just want to let everybody know that. They're 18 inches deep. So you're getting a foot and a half of storage this way. They're 63 inches tall with the wheels and 60 inches tall without the wheels. Oh, and by the way, there's construction and deconstruction. And daggone it, if you're thinking about redoing your closet, because that's like a hot yeah. mess, or again, the garage, because you finally want to park your car in there, if you spend money on plastic storage systems or those awful particle board ones or even solid wood ones, don't do it. Just buy the origami. I'm telling you, you'll, you'll love it. And if you don't believe me, please go on hsn.com. You're going to see a whole bunch of options in origami, and the vast majority have multiple, multiple, multiple five star reviews. It's great to buy shelving because it makes us organized. It gives us smarter space. It makes us feel more in control and happier with our environment. But don't waste your money on the plastic stuff or even build-ins. I wouldn't even do build-ins because of origami because you're not taking oh, yeah. those anywhere and potentially yeah. you'll spend thousands of dollars to do it. I want to show you two examples I love. This is just an entire entertainment center. So let's say you're on a budget and you've moved into your first apartment and you don't, you know, you don't, you're not going to buy a big armoire or something crazy like that. How awesome is this for an entertainment center and then again when your needs change all of a sudden you move that mm -hmm. into your laundry room i love this one too this is a laundry room i have never owned a laundry room i've never had a room just for laundry it always is a part of another room and so i love it because you can actually convert this into almost like having
having a mini laundry room wherever you're doing your washing and your drying. And notice too, this has barely anything on it. There's so much more space I can utilize. It's awesome. Hey, but let's say guests are coming. Well, one minute's in the laundry, the next minute, you're gonna put it in the guest room so they have place to put all their um, suitcase and their luggage and all the stuff they mm -hmm. bring with them. It's amazing the things you'll be able to do with this. Now, please remember, no. unfortunately, the white's gone. The um, This is called the platinum. It's a little bit lighter than the pewter, and there's only uh, less than 100 pairs left in the platinum. Your other two colors is gonna be the pewter, three, then we have the bronze, which is really like a deep espresso brown. And then finally, the second most popular color is always the black. But please remember, you're getting both of these. And hey, Lou, I'd love you to talk about smart ways to use these. Because people uh, traditionally think of shelving like this. But show them right. some of the clever ways that people use this. Well, this is what I did in my uh, storage unit, is I had two rows just like this with three across. And if I ever needed to access anything, I could just pull the middle one out or either one of the side ones, put this out in the hallway, and now all of a sudden, I'm back here. I can get to anything that I need. I can roll these out into the hallway or roll them down to my vehicle. That's one of the cool things about this. And then you just put it back in. That's also how you could use it in a walk-in closet or a walk-in pantry, yep. doing the same thing. Because think about it, it's a dead space that's in there. It's perfect like this, it really is. So get a couple of them. I mean, you'd be amazed how you can put them in front of cabinets, other shelving systems, all kinds of things. Yeah, I love what you did too. You said you had a bunch of build-ins and you put these in front of the build-ins. I did. Because then you doubled yeah. your space and all you do is roll these out of the way to get to the cabinets that were in the back of your garage. I mean, it just makes so much sense. Lou, thank you so much for joining me again today. It was good seeing you as always. You as well, Suzanne, have a great evening. Did you and Kelly have a nice anniversary yesterday? We did. I gave her the night off, though, last night, so. Oh, well, you're so generous, Lou. Wow, you are a giver. He, yeah, a great we're guy. keeping Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Kelly. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Lou. Ah, oh, he's so nice. Gave her the night off. That's awesome. Hey, that's because he was on the air with me, actually. <laughs> Hey guys, I do want to give you another really quick reminder of our very best value today, and it is from Chef uh, Curtis Stone. If you happen to miss out on it, Shannon's going to be doing another presentation, a full one, at 10 p.m. tonight.